Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aprix here. In today's video, we'll be finally fixing all the issues that you guys might face inside the Game Hub Windows Emulator for Android. So, guys, this is basically the best settings video for the Game Hub Windows Emulator. And throughout this video, I'll be giving you guys tips and tricks to improve your gameplay experience while using this emulator on all kind of devices, including Mali GPU, Android devices, Snapdragon processors, which are not really supported, MediaTek, Exynos, and all the other processors. I'll also be telling you guys if Game Hub Windows Emulator is better than win later android on low-end devices and much more though here we go i have launched my game hub emulator we'll just go and tap on process later and get started through our today's video now the first thing which you'll notice is that i am not connected to any internet connection on my android device so inside the game hub windows emulator version 2.0.4 you can play this emulator completely offline run all of your games without needing any internet connection so make sure to update to the latest version of game hub but I assume that you have already done so. If I just go ahead and show you guys, for Watch Dogs 2, we need a special version of Wine which is known as Proton 9.0. If you don't use this version of Wine, then your games do not work. So each of the games that you try to play in Game Hub Emulator have different settings. For example, in GTA 5, it is actually one of the easiest games to run. On Game Hub Emulator, it uses Wine 9.5 compatibility layer and you can use any DXVK versions. I'll be going through the best settings in just a bit, but let me start off by showing you guys the best settings for all unsupported GPUs including Snapdragon processors, MediaTek processors, Exynos and so on. Because Game Hub is the only Windows emulator which has support for Mali GPUs native system drivers instead of using Virgil which does not work on DirectX 10 or 11 games. So what this means is that if you have a MediaTek processor and still want to play games like GTA 5, you will need to tap on this game assuming that you have already imported the PC version of GTA 5 on your Android device. Afterwards just go ahead and open game settings. Then go to compatibility and in GPU driver, make sure to choose it as system driver. Now by default even on Mali GPU Android devices, when you import games like GTA 5, it will automatically select some version of turnip drivers because complete Mali GPU support is still not added. So if you don't change the turnip graphics driver to system graphics driver like I have done right here, then your games will not work inside the Game Hub Windows emulator for Android. So first of all make sure to set your graphics driver to system driver if you are using any of the unsupported processors. Once again this is for Mali GPU Android devices and unsupported Snapdragon processors. If you want to know which processors of Snapdragon are unsupported it is 8 Elite, uh, Snapdragon 8 s Gen 3, 7 Gen 3, 6 Gen 3 or any brand new Snapdragon processor which does not have turnip drivers. So basically if your game does not work with the turnip drivers that are present here you will need to switch to system driver and then the game will have better chance of working. So this is a pro tip. Now let's say you are facing graphical issues when you are emulating any PC game inside the Game Hub emulator. That's where you will need to change your graphics driver to any of the turnip graphics driver. Now let me make this clear, Game Hub only supports officially Snapdragon processors which means these turnip drivers are the ones that will provide you with best graphical output while emulating any PC game on Android along with performance. So you gotta choose any of these turnip graphics driver if you face graphical issues Issues, just go ahead and try changing the graphics driver and see if that fixes the graphical issues. Obviously Game Hub Emulator is still in its early stages and we have lot more to do in future. Once that has been done, let's talk about the DXVK version because this is also very important. Now most of the time when you add a game, it automatically configures an appropriate DXVK version for it. For example here in GTA 5 it has chosen DXVK 1.10.3 asynchronous but if we just go ahead and go back and check out the DXVK version in a game like Watch Watch Dogs 2, let's just go ahead and open game settings. Here you guys will be able to see it actually has selected DXVK 2.3.1 asynchronous. So by default you don't really need to mess with the DX wrappers but if you want to change DXVK version to the best possible version that I'll recommend you guys to go with for all games regardless is going to be the DXVK 2.4. So go with the normal 2.4 or asynchronous version of DXVK 2.4. I have tested it out and it works across all the games without any issues and if you want to emulate some old titles like Just Cause 2 etc then you gotta use DXVK 0.96. Remember guys old games that do not work or boot on your Android devices go with DXVK 0.96. I am explaining each of these settings so you have better understanding of what works the best. In terms of compatibility layer 
basically it just means wine version you guys will be able to see even wine 10.0 is provided so why not use the latest version of wine that is because newer doesn't really mean more stable the default 9.5 wine version it is the most stable and you don't really have to worry about any external setup once that has been done let's talk about if you want to play games like marvel spider-man 2 or marvel spider-man 1 remastered it will basically use wkd 3d version now what you got to do is if you are trying to emulate some high-end latest titles like cyberpunk 2077 spider-man miles morales or anything like that you gotta go with wkd 3d 2.13 make sure to select this option and add this wkd 3d version inside the game hub emulator for all the latest games and it will make sure that the games will actually boot in terms of another option known as cpu translator this is also very important guys because box 64 version changes across the games that you try to emulate for example here in watch Dogs 2 box 64 version is 0.32 whereas if i just go ahead and go back and go to the game settings of grand theft auto 5 you guys will be able to see here the box 64 version is selected as 0.28 now what i would personally recommend you if your game is not working is to change your box 64 version along with your dx wrapper as i mentioned before so in terms of box 64 the best version of box 64 that i would recommend personally is the box 64 0.28 which is an older version but if you want to play new games like dragon ball sparking zero etc i recommend you guys to go with box 64 0.31 it will work the best i'll show you guys dragon ball sparking zero gameplay test in just a bit because yeah we'll also be testing out a game in today's video with all the best settings that i have mentioned so far now another thing which i'll recommend you guys to do is make sure to tick mark enable controller support basically what it means is that you can pair any external controller instead of using the on-screen touch controls uh, which are present here in input mapping. Now I'll explain more about the on-screen touch controls as well as uh, external keyboard mapping etc later on in this video. You can also go to component to check out the versions of components that might have been added. For example if you try emulating GTA 5, Game Hub will automatically add a GTA 5 settings configuration which will uh, decrease the quality of the game so you get better FPS. Unlike WinLater which emulates the original GTA 5 version with original graphics. So you have to take a note of that too. Anyways let me add a new game. Game which is going to be Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So here we go, I have successfully added this game and this game is actually pretty incompatible. It crashes when trying to run with the default settings. So here in compatibility, you guys will be able to see the default settings are as follows. The first thing which we'll do is change our DXVK version to DXVK 2.3.1 asynchronous. Once that has been done, VKD 3D will select it as 2.13. Afterwards, Box 64 version will set it as 0.28. Once that has been done, GPU drive as the device which I currently have in my hand is the one with Snapdragon 8 Elite, an unsupported GPU, will go with System Graphics Driver. Once this has been set up, we'll just go ahead and go back and tap on Play Now. Now while it is being loaded, let me show you guys that there are actually two types of input controls in Game Hub Emulator. You'll be able to see input mapping. Basically, when you enable this, you'll get some on-screen touch controls as you'll be able to see. But let's say your on-screen touch controls do not work because that has happened to me when testing out few games like Watch Dogs 2. Then what you gotta do is make sure to tap on switch input mapping. Afterwards here make sure to select the default keyboard and mouse layout. So once you tap on the apply button for this, you will notice that your input mapping has been changed. But unfortunately as you will be able to see, even Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is not working. So we'll go with the box 64 0.32 and let's see if the game works this time or not. So now once we enable input mapping, you guys will be able to see that uh, all the on screen touch controls have have changed we get a keyboard layout just like the win later android now so we'll just go ahead and switch input mapping back to our default controller layout anyways let's wait to find out here we go our game has successfully started now this is what i wanted to show you guys that if you mess with the settings or tweak the settings a little bit your game will 100 percent work because you guys saw it wasn't working when i first booted it but now the game booted and i am even getting almost 40 fps what this means is basically you gotta find the best settings for your own game i know it's easier said than done but that is what you gotta do once you find the best settings 
settings for your own game i am pretty sure everything will work out for you anyways here we go our dragon ball sparking zero game is about to start let me show you guys the fps which we are getting it's about 34 fps and don't forget dragon ball sparking zero released just very recently and here we go we are about to play this game on our snapdragon 8 elite processor android devices and immediately you might have noticed that as we are not using turnip graphics driver there are a lot of graphical issues so if you are using a mali gpu android device or exynos processor mediatek processor unsupported snapdragon processor then you will have to face lot of these graphical issues that is one thing which you need to understand because turnip drivers basically provide you with best graphical output and performance so you'll just go ahead and tap on skip tutorial afterwards tap on the yes button anyways guys that's going to be it for today's video in conclusion for low end devices go with win later android it is more stable but for high end devices a uh, game hub emulator is the best one and i hope this video clarified lot of the questions that you might be having about game hub windows emulator as i make similar videos on my channel i would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification i'll see you guys next time though thanks for watching peace out